Do you train in urban areas around tall buildings? How about around steep mountains or in deep canyons? Have you ever noticed that you can sometimes do the exact same ride or run on two different days and get different distance and elevation totals? EarWatch uses a Global Navigation Satellite System, or GNSS, to determine your location. By default, it uses the Global Positioning System, or GPS, which is the GNSS owned and operated by the U.S. government. But GPS is just one of a number of GNSSs, and your watch has the ability to use either GPS alone or the Russian-owned and operated GLONASS system, or G-L-O-N-A-S-S. To understand why you might want to use both GPS and GLONASS on your watch, let's take a look at how GNSSs work. So say that this is the surface of the Earth, and here you are with your watch, um, and overhead are going to be some satellites, hopefully spread out across the sky. Now each satellite transmits a location, its location, and a very precise timestamp. The watch receives this information and will compare the timestamp and the signal with its timestamp to know how long that signal took to reach it, and that coupled with the rate at which radio waves travel allows it to know how far away it is from each satellite so it can triangulate its position on the Earth's surface. Generally, you need at least two satellites to get a horizontal position and then a third to get a vertical. And the more satellites you have, the more accurate your horizontal and vertical position will be because the watch will just simply average all of the computed locations for higher accuracy. Now, let's say that you're actually in a deep canyon, right? Say up in the mountains or something. Obviously not to scale, but your watch cannot see as much of the sky. So some of the satellites that would normally be visible are obscured. And if your watch does not have a clear line of sight uh, to the satellite, it cannot use that signal very effectively. There are some algorithms and newer chips that do a somewhat of an okay job with uh, indirect signals, but generally you've got to be able to see it. And buildings and the rock walls of canyons block those signals. Trees, uh, leaf cover, vegetation generally does not, unless it's soaked in water, uh, and then it, it will. So, if you're in a canyon, and now you have a, another constellation of satellites, in this case, GLONASS, now, you know, you, your watch can see more satellites, and the necessary, you'll have a greater chance of seeing the necessary number of satellites uh, to compute a good location. GLONASS is also better at extreme latitudes. In other words, extremely far north, extremely far south, the Arctic and the Antarctic. And the reason this is, is because the inclination angle of its satellites is much greater than GPS. In addition to all of that, it should give you faster location acquisition time. So when you go to start an activity and you have to wait for it to say GPS is ready, that amount of time should be reduced. 
To enable GLONASS on your Garmin Forerunner 735 XT watch, first hit the Enter button from the main screen. So this is the button in the upper right-hand corner. Now hit the down arrow, which is in the lower left-hand corner. Hit Enter again to select Activity Settings. And hit the down arrow until you get to GPS. Hit Enter to select GPS. And hit the down arrow until you get GPS plus GLONASS. And again, hit Enter. Now hit the lap button, which is in the lower right corner, and continue to press it until you get back to your main screen. Now during your next training activity, you should have improved accuracy and faster position acquisition. On the negative side, your battery may not last as long during your activity, so if you're going on an extended ride or run, you may want to go back to GPS only. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below.